Yo guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. I hope you're enjoying your quarantine. Uh, all that usual uh, coronavirus talk. We're not going to talk about coronavirus today, however. Today we're going to talk about my neutral. And uh, after this short interchange of trailers uh, that I'm just going to do. So welcome back to the channel. I hope you're all uh, doing your best, given the circumstances. After various amounts of speculation uh, on the internet uh, regarding my Instagram and Snapchat and stuff like that, you would have seen pictures of this truck posted on it. Um, originally, the truck was designated out to be for my old man. It was designated to be his, but uh, as it turned out, the Renault wasn't really fit for purpose anymore, to be honest. The, the engine decided to stop having compression in it for some reason. Um, may not need new engine, may need uh, other ancillaries. It got a turbo stuff like that and we got it back out on the road and it still wasn't right then we got it back out on the road after that came back then it needed uh, an oil sensor valve and all sorts of other stuff after a day of driving it broke down on me in the part so last week uh, as if it wasn't stressful enough with the 90 hour week that I had uh, I got that truck back for a day and it just it, it lasted an hour and I had to go back to Renault so yeah uh, the Renault's it'll be back but uh, it won't be me driving it. Oh then Let's get stuck into why we're here. It's a DAF XF, obviously. Uh, super Space Cab, 530 horsepower is this variant. Um, we'll take you around the outside for us to explain what's going on out here. It's got the HID headlight pack, as you can see there, it's a Zeman lamp. Um, so all the ancillary bulbs, like the fog lights um, and the side lights up on top here, see these little headlights here? They're all halogen bulbs, which I will be changing very, very shortly. Lovely Chrome XF. Um, we've got our Jura Brights front and back. The middle axle here, however, is not Jura Bright, it's just a, a normal normal steel wheel. We've got the 530 ponies in the stable. Um, we've got our second diesel tank. This is a 300 litre tank. And on the other side, it's 550 litres, I think. I'm not exactly sure. So all together, it holds about 800 litres. However, this tank here, the sales rep still has the key off, so and the spare key. So I have to go get them off and whenever DAF reopen. That's the thing with the Crown Warriors. I can't get the key because DAF aren't open, but he's saying that he might come in and get them for me. However, we'll worry about that another day. Some of you may be wondering, Ian, why the hell is there a, a baby whale slash limp dick? Well, however, with a normal 6x2 track the owner, right? Um, this wheelbase here, would be covered up with this wheel. So could you imagine two wheels that exact size there? It means that it need it would need at least, <laughs> you know, it would need a gap to at least here to separate the wheels and then the hole would have to be here. And that would take all your space for your second diesel tank. Now you could get another second diesel tank here, but it would only probably be about 200 liters max. So you'd like, it comes about here, you know, in comparison, which in this wheelbase uh, is available. But most of the normal uh, 6.2 DAF XFs that you see is actually a shorter wheelbase than this. This is a 4 meter wheelbase and the normal ones are 3.8 meters. So uh, yeah, if you're wondering, that's why that's there. And plus, the tires are cheaper. It's easier to get around with, like, especially with the tanks and stuff that I do. It's much easier just to lift this wheel a small bit than drag a whole big, you know, uh, whole big tire around with me because that was problems I was having with all the other track units that I have been testing is the tire scrub and like why would you want to rip up a perfectly good tire these are perfect super cheap to replace and um, i was we were looking at getting the crown wheel for this but it's just it's too expensive for what it is so that's going to stay the way it is hopefully a company will come on board and get me a pair of side skirts and we can do a video on it so i'll leave that out there which is 
we come around to the back here they have the optional extra led lights here with the the stroke and amber uh indicator lights these are magnificent looking um, I'm getting a plate made for here, uh, soon to be announced, I don't know what it's going to be, but there's going to be another plate here, maybe I might do another red plate, we'll see, um, and I'm presuming you're all wondering, Ian, it's not like you, why so dirty? Well, this morning, it was immaculate, I'm going to leave a picture here, yeah, it was spotless this morning before I left, however, oh, it rained for like the first time in two weeks today, so this is why uh, you see all this dirt here and the dust and the yard I'm in, especially because, ugh, because it's been so dry, dust is everywhere, so what can you do? These wheels are chrome under the door, I promise that they are really shiny. They are lovely, right? So we've got our massive diesel tank here. Um, we've got a full extended catwalk, which is ideal for me because as you all now with the, that's my rubbish from earlier on, please uh, don't litter or litter responsibly. That's going in the bin now in a second. Um, basically the tanker trailers are called gooseneck trailers, right? So they're only about 30 feet in length and the headboard comes to here. So in the premium and all the other track units, I was driving. Um, now if you order from factory, this isn't a problem, but I was driving on stock trucks, which this was as well. Get to that in a second. Right, the catwalks only came to about here, which left this gap. Now I promise you at five o'clock in the morning, when you're not really paying attention and you fall down there, trust me it hurts. <laughs> I lost near enough of my whole shin bone last week and a bit of my arm falling down that hole uh, last week on was it the Volvo? I can't remember. I think it was the Volvo I was driving, yeah. It had it had an even shorter cat walk than that. I fell straight down and it hurt like ah, oh, hurt like a bass. Anyway, that's the big diesel tank on this side. Great size diesel tank. Um our other chrome alcohol alloy here at the front. See it was tire shining all but the dust has just simply taken over for some reason. Take a, a steady look back here and we'll get to the bling. So what we have on top here is a Kelsa high bar uh, followed by two Kelsa white LED beacons and four LED spot lamps. The headlight bulbs on these are halogen. They're uh, like, you know, they're normal halogen bulbs, but they are side lighted with LED lights. So I will get to changing the bulbs in them very, very shortly. Um, more to, you know, more to get videos out. We've also our twin train horns. You'll see them, you'll see them there from this angle. Yeah, they're sort of hidden up there, but they look really nice. Trust me, they're really loud. And I'll get to a really cool feature with these horns that we're gonna get to when we get on the inside. And what do we have? We just have the grill here. Just normal grills. Where you stand up there to clean your windscreen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one really wants to see under the bonnet. If you do, comment below and I'll do it in another video. Um, so what do you guys think? Now, if you're wondering, Ian, why a daft? Why did, why did the company go with a daft instead of anything else? Well, I'm, I'm gonna give it to you this way, right? In comparison to everything else I've driven, right? Every video that you've seen with all the other trucks, right? There has been at least, even compared to the cheapest truck, there was a 15,000 euro price difference. And this, ha this comes with everything on it, all the chrome wheels, all the bars, all everything like that, with that kind of a price difference. Now, I don't know where any of you stand, but if you do business at all, 15 grand could be spent on maybe a brand new trailer or it could be someone's wages for nearly half the year. You know what I mean? So that's why. And this is, having a DAF is not a bad thing, trust me. I've always loved DAFs. DAFs have always uh, been a part of our family. Been, I've been around them since I was very, very young. And uh, yeah, oh, also actually I nearly forgot to mention this. Uh, we've our two LED work lamps up on top, which is great for really early starts in the morning. We've also another one down here. I actually love the Susie holders in the DAF. They're nice and neat looking. Um, and yeah, just nice and out of the way, not on the catwalk, I'm trying to keep the catwalk as clean as possible. That rope is there because I have a box of stuff to go here. Like, I'm literally on this in this truck a couple of days, so please bear with me, guys. Even on the inside, not everything is where it's supposed to be, right? So, we're gonna get to first of all the four side locker. I'll show you the inside in a second. So, on this side locker, I have my boots, which you can see are covered in what looks like jizz, but it isn't jizz, it's oil. Two pairs of gloves, an Anderson lead. Uh, this is my connection for the trailers. And there's a hammer and a voice grips in there somewhere, just because you never know. Um, so we'll climb up into the cabinet, a lovely DAF embossed logo. Um, now you'll see that the steps are all painted white here. Now, 
this truck is what you call ice white it's not two pack paint which which is what you see on most other dafts it'd be sort of a <clears throat> more yellowy twinge to it but this is ice white as you can see it's really bright even covered in dust it's still really bright so we've one two three four steps up into the cab and we're greeted with this absolutely beautiful brown interior okay i need to shut you up for a minute Okay, so we'll hop on into the cab. Now, this is what you'll see. We have our brown and black leather steering wheel. Close the door here for a second. God, it's loud outside. We have brown and black door cards. We have our window switches, uh, mirror adjustment, heated mirrors, and all the adjustment there. That's your light switch. I'll turn on the dash. Show you how busy we've been in this truck since we've got it. So far, it has done 9,267 kilometers. I got this truck at uh, just under 4,000 kilometers. So yeah, I've been a busy boy the past two weeks. Um, I'm nearly, nearly done for the day. So what we've got here then, we have sat nav, Bluetooth and FM stereo. You can see that's connected to my phone there. And uh, we get the, no, not traffic, we'll get sat nav up, see if we can get a destination. Points of interest, parking nearby. See what comes up. This might take a minute. Now, um, a lot of you will know, right? And you can probably tell but just by looking in here. Uh, DAFs are kind of an old truck, right? Let's not even begin to deny that this truck, the interior of it is a bit dated, right? However, I'm really used to the interior of this, right? I've been around, I'm not joking you guys, right? Hang on. Now, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, yeah? I've been around DAFs since I was a child, so. This is nothing new to me. However, DAFs are full of character. Um, the, the, literally, is it's like having uh, an uncle or a grandfather. That's kind of what this truck reminds me of. And it's uh, that one of them has always been around. So that's why I'm in one. Out, that out of the way. What are we surrounded by here? This is your climate control and air conditioning and your parking heater. All this sort of stuff. Please forgive this. This is a mess. I know. I'm rushing this video out to get it out in time for you. This is our sat nav, blah, blah, blah. This guy is gonna try and reverse into me. It's actually a woman and she's getting in there. Okay, so what are we surrounded by here then? Well, for one, we have aha, a fridge. Finally, a fridge. It's full of uh, spaghetti bolognese, cookies, and Diet Coke, which is like my diet these days during this coronavirus. Um, we are adjusted with a CB radio. Uh, we've covered all this. This is all your dials in the center. Don't do a whole lot. Gorgeous passenger seat. Let me get a detailed shot of you. The difference uh, a bit of brown makes. Now, please forgive me, I know I'm wearing my shoes. Uh, there is a custom set of mats going into this soon, which will be another video, of course. Um, we are getting them custom made by a company that we're trying to get on board for the YouTube channel. So, please bear with me until this is all sorted, right? This is just a brief introduction into this video or into this truck. That's my camera bag. This is the sleeping arrangements. To be honest, even this bed sheet was a spare one, right? Because you know the brown sheets that are, were in my premium? I accidentally ordered two sheets by accident. I don't know how. Oh no, actually I didn't even order two of them. They just sent two of them. So someone made a boo-boo there. But in, in other news, we've got ourselves a brand new bed sheet that has been sitting in my wardrobe since I bought the last ones. Um, so that's just the current bed sheeting at the moment. Until I get all my stuff and my helmet and all. Ooh, this truck's going to be sexy. Trust me. Um, I'm going to do a proper Dutch spec yoke. Right, and now, lads. The pièce de résistance. A microwave, yeah! So, in here, you can defrost, um, melt, make some hot chocolate, heat up your coffee, etc, etc. Everything can be done in here. That is magnificent. And it's a Daft brand. Look at that. It's a Daft branded. Microwave. That's class. I'm so happy with that. Um, up here, we've just got a bit of storage, a bit of coffee. Um, and this one, also some more storage. Yeah, there's. I'm literally in the truck a couple of days. That's actually my dad. I have to give that back to him. Uh, these curtains are atrocious. These will also be changed very, very shortly. Um, we've got our extra speakers up here. Tweeters along the dashboard there. The stereo system, I have to say, in this truck is actually amazing. It's really, really good. There's a subwoofer here behind the seat. 
and uh, I've been absolutely baiting the tunes over the past couple of days, I'm not even gonna lie, so it's amazing. You're wondering why the camera's there and why I'm not filming with it. Trust me, there is a big documentary coming and it was meant to be going on the YouTube channel. However, now it's gonna be on TV. So your boy is a TV star. I'm not a TV star, I'm just, things are happening. I can't really explain it all now because I have to wait until it all uh, unfolds. Uh, filming has begun, however, and that's something you're gonna get to see in the summertime, hopefully. So, yes, very, very good, very, very good indeed. We are, we are growing. Right, what else have we got here? We've got the double bunk, which uh, actually has a really smart system, right? You pull this down, probably not ideal doing this with one hand, however. Now, that's a little overnight bag in there. Um, yeah, just the double, double bunk bed. I actually had uh, my little brother Ben with me the other day. He hopped up in here and KO'd for the hallway home from Cork. So, that proves to me that it's comfortable. Oh God, who needs the gym when you're pulling down this bottle? Jesus. So yeah, that's that down. So that's uh, basically the interior of the truck. Up here we have a little 12 volt charger, a little bit of storage for when you're sleeping. Good solid steel steps by. Um, what else have we got? A, a glorious sunroof. Um, yeah, we've got a nice sunroof up there where you can let in a bit of air without having to open any of these windows and get a lot of flies in, which is amazing. So uh, yeah, it's in here very very nice so guys that's all i have time for today it was a brief introduction into my new truck i hope you all enjoy it please get in the comments of what you do to it what you, what you think the plans are for it um etc etc plenty of road trips maybe a european trip in this truck uh who knows so thanks for watching please like subscribe all the usual stuff and i'll see you again shortly <laughs>